In this video, we're going to talk about Renegade Reckoning, Peter Cairns' corporate nightmare in Rat City. Alrighty then, this is a comic book review of Rat City, issue number two, brought to you by Rated Comics. Let's get to it. Now, previously in Rat City, Spawn's necroplasmic explosion in the past, which took place in Spawn issue 300 or 301, one of those two issues, has rippled forward in time and caused a massive blackout and power surge in New York City. So in Peter Kayan's apartment, he doesn't know what's happening. He don't know what Al Simmons has done or how it affected the nanites in his body because remember in the previous issue, Peter and his teammates or his soldier ops got their legs injured severely in the war, then the corporation put these legs in, but they tested them out to see what they can do and what they're capable of. But when Peter and the team did not meet that metric, they were just gone to live, keep the legs, keep the upgrades, Go on and live your lives as normal citizens, all right? But it'll be a while before any of us or any of them learned what really happened during the blackout. So in PTS headquarters, these doctors tell Dr. Bose that all the experiments are stabilized now, but they don't know what caused the seizures or the blackout, but they're exhibiting normal vitals for the past four hours. And Dr. Bose is like, okay, kind of recover from this explosion as well. And he's like, what about the nanites? Well, those nanites don't seem too affected by the energy surge. Too affected? Yo, man, there's trillions of dollars of hardware in these people. We have to be sure nothing was damaged. Keep everyone sedated until I get back. I'm going to tell the chairman about this. And also send a message to anyone with a prosthetic from the past five years. You think those older models are going to be affected from this explosion, Dr. Bose? Well, we got to check everything. And, well, those people that were from five years ago, those older models, what if those patients don't willingly want to come in? Some of them might not even be in New York anymore. Tell them we're giving free upgrades. And once we have them, we could do more invasive tests. Yo, that's just scary right there. So Peter finally wakes up. He doesn't know how long he's been out, but his old soldier, Black Ock buddy, comes in, Reese, and tells him, hey, man, just checking up on you. You haven't answered your calls. Well, how long I've been out? Yo, man, you got a lot of messages, man. You've been out. And by the way, PTS is giving out free upgrades. They left you a message too, but you've been asleep this whole time. And Peter gets up like, man, I don't remember anything after the blackout. Well, figure it out. Adapt or die, right? That's a call back to the first issue. And Peter's like, if you say so, so I guess we got to do this. So Reese is like, I need your help with some things. I've been talking to someone who really opened my eyes. And Peter's like, what are you trying to do? You trying to recruit me for something? <laughs> do I look like an ultra boy to you, bro? Quinlan, that's who he's talking about. Quinlan used to work at PTS. They got a ton of stuff up there that Dr. Bose is doing and what he'll do to us. Bet you this appointment's to cover their asses for the blackout or something. And Peter's like, you think PTS really causes blackout? That's too much right there. Well, didn't you feel something weird when it hit? I was in a hole at work, Rise. My legs were locked up, says Peter. And that's when we get this visual of Spawn. So I guess Reese saw Spawn too. So did you see anything when it hit? No not even after and peter's like so what am i looking for once we get into pts i don't know but something doesn't feel right so just keep your head in a swivel so meanwhile we get this panel right here of the apartment of quinlan that was the person that reese was talking about she's doing her thing doing her investigation but before she found or right out the cuffs that she found something i don't know why her computer malfunctioned she must have hacked into something that she had no business hacking into well she realized it can't be and she hoped she wasn't too late before this explosion happens so in the waiting area peter's getting impatient like how long is this gonna take and reese is like what bruh you got somewhere to be yeah i got a shift tonight i don't know about you but the va cut off my benefit fits when I got these limbs. Something about having an advantage and getting back to society. And Reese is like, hate to break it to you, but your foreman was the one of your missed messages. He said you went AWOL, so you ain't got no shift, bro. And Peter's like, okay, man, what the hell's going on? And Reese is like, it'll be okay. I've got a place you can keep, all right? Commander Reese is one of the doctors. And Reese is like, y'all, it's not Commander no more. It's just Mr. Reese now. Or Owain if you're my mom. Well, please leave your belongings and come with me. And Reese is like, here, take my phone, all right, Yankee? Be careful and keep your eyes open out there. That's his last words to Peter. And Reese was supposed to bring Peter as backup, but Quinlan is trying to call Reese on his phone and Peter had no idea what he was getting into. So he should answer the phone. It'll be rude to answer. And the other guy that's in the waiting area is asking Peter, like, did you see it? And Peter's like, see what? Like, excuse me? The demon, it's coming for us. All the bad shit we did over there. It's okay, man, we're just getting upgrades. Don't be fooled. There ain't no angels behind those doors. Are you freaking stupid? I'm guessing this brother had to see the spawn visual too after that blackout. So Dr. Bose is like, good to see you, Commander. And Reese is like, look, I'm not in the service anymore. And Dr. Bose tries to charm him up like, hey, man, we're always in the service of something. So Reese is like, where's Dr. Amen? I always liked him. 
Amen left a few years ago. He's no longer believed in the vision. So Reese is like, okay, speaking of vision, I'm seeing that needle. And I ain't liking what I see. This will relax you. Wait, Reese is like, hold on, that's some bull job. I thought this was an upgrade. And Dr. Bose is like, no, just trust me. After Reese got that needle, he's like, man, I can't. Like, <laughs> And he hears the last final words, get him prepped. I want his hands on the table now. Like, If I got sedated and I heard like a doctor like rushing to get my hands and body on the table like that, with any simple care or anything like that, that would freak me out before I blacked out. So Quinlan is like, doesn't know how many messages she's left Reese. So the final message is this, Reese, if you get this, I hacked into the daily conference at PTS you and Peter are in danger you got to get out of there Dr. Bose isn't giving free upgrades he wants to dissect you so when Dr. Bose gets the needle and sees all the nanites in his blood he's like okay the nanites seem to still be working fine I've isolated one of them from the sample now bring up his baseline so we have a comparison nothing seems out of the ordinary for right now and Reese is like huh like kind of waking up a little bit over here but not fully awake so Dr. Bose is like get me a sample of the nanites directly from the prosthetic hand I need a side by side and the doctor's like okay yes sir so they take the hand off and all of a sudden Reese just ignites into the Hulk without the green but he's got green pants and purple shirt no hands but he got feet so what they ignited in Reese was rage within them that quickly turned to pure hatred and Dr. Bose is like yo man get me security in here right freaking now so Peter's like man what the hell's taking so long something ain't right I don't feel right so all of a sudden these troops come in Peter's like what's going on why you guys come in here all of a sudden all heavy like that don't be messing with me like that don't be trying me like i'm some kind of simple i'm talking to you answer me and they ain't trying to answer they turn around like hey man back up before you get smacked up and the other security guard is like nah bro leave him alone don't be trying him either so they slam the door on peter and peter's like wait a minute hold up my friends and there's something happened to him so both reese and peter has started their transformations but what were they becoming they don't know even the bro in the back is like what are you becoming and peter's like i don't know what you're looking at but i'm getting pissed right now this wasn't the first time reese had guns pointed at him or even the first time someone saw him as a monster and these army soldiers are like man what happened to him commander reese a wayne trying to calm him down we're trying to help you guards put your weapons down it's okay there's no need to damage the specimen he's merely a deviant well these soldiers are trigger ready so any slight moving like right now they're gonna start shooting off a deviant that's what they call all of them and dr bose like cease fire stop blasting on him but it's too late reese is going ham so back in the lobby Peter's like, if you don't open the door, I'll do it myself. Uses all his strength and throws a chunk of metal out the door. And it dents the door, so, whew. And Peter tells the guy, shut up with your damn delusions. Are you going to help me or not? Because this guy is thinking about all this is happening in PTS headquarters right now. It's that demon that's coming for them, coming for payback. And Peter ain't trying to hear all that. But before he could open the door, Reese comes in full throttle, knocks Peter onto the ground. And everything happened so fast. Reese tried to help Peter, but yeah, Peter suffered the fatal shot in the chest right there behind the back. He's down. Move in. And Peter does not like what he sees. This is all my fault that Peter thinks. Reese, come on, man. Get up. And all Reese could tell him is, find Quinlan. They can help. But all this rage kicks in with Peter. You hurt my friend. It's you. You're the demon, says the patient. He ain't trying to hear all that. Now you're going to pay. And he turns into Spawn 2099. Spawn Beyond. Ready to take action and get some business going on. Because people got to pay for this. And that is the end of this issue of Rat City. Issue number two. What you guys think of the comic book? Comment below. Let me know. Also, link in description if you wish to add any of our limited print rated comics exclusives to your comic book collection. Support the art. Support the industry. Lastly, this video is sponsored by coffee, so if you'd like to buy a boy a cup of coffee, link in description or donate to the super thanks. But the greatest compliment you guys can do is by liking this video and subscribing to this channel. Thank you again for watching. Until next time.